Morning everyone, it's Jelani. Uh, morning scriptures came from Proverbs 15, 31 to 32 and James 1, 21 to 22. Heavenly Father, as always, lead me in what I say, that it's according to your word, according to your truth, and that it may be edifying to all that hear. <laughs> he who have an ear, let them hear. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. So this morning we, we, we the scriptures um was speaking was speaking about hearing and who you have a hear pretty much. Um Proverbs was speaking about the the person who have a, listens, listens to correction, listen to reproof, reproof, um that that person will will get intelligence from it, they will get wisdom from it because um uh, we never we weren't born into this world knowing everything. Um, only person I know created knowing pretty much nearly uh, what everything was. Well, Adam was created with with um he was created as a man in it, so he cre was created with wisdom. He was created in the image of God. But we 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 are born of our mother, and we we learn over the years in it. Um, in so much that the scripture always says, when the child knew how to differentiate between good and evil we learn these things we learn good we learn evil um but um we know that ultimately we should we should be residing in in good in goodness um we should be rejecting evil but that's a process in itself also um and that's right throughout our life um hence as i said every morning we have to preach back to jesus christ Hence why we need him to 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 point us back into that into that goodness so we can reject the evil. Um, so um, it, it literally saying that anyone who who doesn't like counsel, he doesn't like um, reproof, a person who doesn't like correction, they're prone to be the ones that are going to be self-destructing because they won't listen to when I say wise counsel, I'm talking God, godly counsel, godly wisdom, godly correction. Because ultimately we have correction of men, but the best correction is of God. It might not be pleasant all the time, but at the end of the day, if we stay through it, um, if we ask him to bear us and keep us through it, then the other side of it is definitely it's, 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 it's goodness. It's goodness, joy, peace, all of that stuff. Um, so I, I, I touched in, uh, the John chapter one, um, it, it, it's again speaks cause the, the scriptures that the, from old to new is the same, the same principles are being taught. Obviously we got the perfection through Jesus Christ in the new Testament, but we can always refer to the two. They're not going to contradict each other. And we have, um, the, the, James there literally telling you that the one who who um will have a hear the one who will take the engrafted word of God that will that is the one that's got the soul is going to be saved because they will listen to what God says and what God is telling us is nothing evil is always just telling us what it is we should be doing in this world to be so that when we do leave this life we are with him that's it. Literally all of his words is to point us back to him so we can have eternal life through him, through Jesus Christ. Um, but as it says, I just like that little bit where it just it never just left it at hearing in James. It never just left it at hearing. Like anybody can hear something and like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, mm, yeah, that's wise. Yeah, that's actually make a lot of sense. But if we hear it and then we turn back and do this something contrary to what we learned then you're deceiving yourself you haven't really learned have you where whereas if we hear and do because there's a doing action in hearing there's listening and then there's hearing there's there's an action what goes along with it if we should be gaining true wisdom because as i said it would be very they're very foolish of us if we hear something good and then we, we do the complete opposite so that 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 was just summed up in James there literally we need to not just be a hearer of the word but a doer and as we can see a lot of record with Jesus he always when he sometimes when he was speaking to the multitude he said he who has an ear let him hear 
many multitude obviously but not everyone will have a hear to hear and he's, he repeated it when he sent his angel to the churches just to tell them um what what corrections they needed he was literally went through and said this church is doing such and such and uh, when he's ending it say he who have a hear let him hear what the spirit of the lord said so not just doing not just listening let us hear what the Lord has to, um, has in store for us so that we can turn on to him in everything that we do. So I'll leave it at that today. <clears throat> a quick one. As I said, it would be nice to go on uh, maybe sometime or maybe go on a bit longer with these. Because they, it's just touching the, the surface pretty much. But yeah, have a nice day.